Hi, I am Kafri and this channel is about hula hooping. In this video I will explain you possible mistakes that can appear if you are just a beginner and you are willing to learn waist hula hooping. You can find the video on my channel, link in the description below, to the theory of waist hooping, so how to learn the basic skill of hula hooping. In this video, however, we will focus on solving the first problems that most frequently appears with my students and that I know that can happen also to you. So stay with me until the end of this video and I hope if you didn't uh, manage to waste hula hoop yet, it will be possible after watching this. Hey! So, possible mistake number one, wrong hula hoop. I know, it seems kind of obvious that yeah, I know which hula hoop to choose. But maybe it happened that you have been to a birthday party of your friend's son or daughter and you found a hula hoop in their toys and it was more or less this size. And then you say, yeah, I was thinking of hula hooping and then you tried it with this little, little kitty size hula hoop and of course you haven't been successful and you said, no, no, hula hooping is not for me. <laughs> no worries. It's not you, it's the hula hoop which is too small. This is not an adult size hula hoop. What you need to begin your waist hula hooping adventure and to make it successful from the beginning is an adult size hula hoop like this one. In the description below, you can find a link to a full video where I explain how to choose your first hula hoop when you are planning on body hooping, on body spins, so waist hooping, hip hooping, all the things that you perform around your body. It is an adult size hula hoop. If you place it in front of you, it should be reaching more or less to the height of your belly button. In my case, it is 115 centimeters, okay? How can you find it? By a name, adult size hula hoop, beginner hula hoop, dance hula hoop, fitness hula hoop, whatever. <laughs> okay, go to a professional hula hoop shop online and check out for beginner hula hoops. This is the one that you need to make your waist hooping successful from the beginning. Mistake number two, the first push. I was explaining it pretty clear in my tutorial for waist hooping, but from my experience on the one-to-one -one classes, I know that it sometimes goes wrong, and yet you have so many new elements to stay focused on that this first push simply just, you know, get lost somewhere. Okay, so it's highly important when you begin waist hula hooping to give it a firm, nice, super strong, flat push in the beginning, okay? It has to be so strong that even without doing anything, without performing any movement of your body, the hoop will spin a few times around your waist, okay? So try working on this, try to focus. The most common mistakes that I see people are doing is, for example, dragging the hoop up with the first movement. So I'm giving it a push, but also an additional movement up, okay? And it keeps falling. Even if it's not so exaggerated as I did now, it might be just a little, but it already pushes the hoop into a diagonal movement and it will not work for waist hooping, okay? So make sure again that the first push that you are giving to the hula hoop is nice and flat, super firm, super strong, and that you, your body is aligned and that you are prepared to perform the next movement. What else can go wrong? Maybe you are going too slow. So, you've already checked the right size of your hula hoop, the first push, which is nice, flat and super firm, super strong in the direction of your intuitive spin, okay? And then you want to perform this movement of pulsation, of maintaining the hoop spinning around your waist. Maybe you are simply going too slow or you are not giving it enough push 
forward, okay? So there is not enough strength in the push. Try this exercise, try going as fast as possible. So you are beginning the movement, nice positioned, you know, uplifted, straight position of your body. You are giving it this first firm push and you try to go as fast as possible. And if you feel that you are kind of losing it and the hoop is getting down, you want to go even faster. You want to make it like go even stronger. Push it really, really hard forward, okay? And try to maintain that fast movement for a moment and then try to kind of stabilize it. If you feel that it's falling again, try to move it a little faster again, okay? So work on the speed and on the strength of your movement. Okay, you are feeling already rich in knowledge about hula hooping, so let's go further. The next mistake, the next possible mistake in the beginning of your waist hooping might be the bouncy legs, okay? It helps to put one foot in front of another, okay? Maybe you feel more comfortable when they are uh, side by side next to each other on the width of your hips or slightly wider. If you prefer to choose this position when the one, one foot is in front of another, it, there is a tendency uh, with some people to bounce with their legs, okay? And this is kind of wrong because it creates a different direction of motion of your whole body. And as I explained to you in the tutorial, the movement is about pushing the hoop forward and going back pushing it forward and going back, okay? So there is no place for bouncing, okay? And if it appears, the hoop will be falling. Let's try it, okay? So I'm placing the hoop, I'm beginning the movement, and I'm starting to bounce with my legs. You see, with each movement, the hoop keeps dropping down, okay? So avoid the bouncy legs, okay? Try to maintain it nice and flat, going forward. Number five, check out on your posture. If all the things that I said you are doing correct and it's still not working, maybe there is something wrong about your body alignment, okay? As I told you in the tutorial, this is super highly important to maintain nice and straight, uplifted, open chest, you know, head goes up posture, okay? So the body is straight, the bum is not sticking to the back, okay? You are not bending forward, your leg is might be slightly bent. It's even better if you bend your knees a little because some people have tendency when they begin to hula hoop to put a lot of tension and pressure in the area of their knees. So maintaining the, the legs super straight and bouncing the body might put a lot of pressure in this zone of knees, okay? So try avoiding this, slightly bend your knees, okay? Either you are putting one foot in front of another or you are maintaining them aligned on the width of your hips in the same, in the same line side by side, okay? So check out on the posture. You want to be nice and balanced in a steady position that you feel comfortable, that you feel like you are not gonna fall. Maybe it is one foot in front of another. Maybe you can switch them to check which one works better for you. Then you want to rotate your pelvis a little down, a little to the front, okay? So you don't want the sticky bum, okay? You want it to be hidden. The belly is flat. You can suck it in, okay? The back is straight, head goes up. All right, so you are nice and straight. The chest is opened, and then you are giving it a nice push and balance front and back, front and back, okay? From me, that would be it. Uh, these are the most common mistakes that I encounter on my way as a teacher. Maybe there is something more. Maybe there are some issues that you are struggling with, with I, which I didn't mention in this video. Please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. I will be happy to answer them, but also it might be helpful to other people to, you know, get the knowledge they need and maybe solve their doubts as well, okay? So let's do a super fast like checkout list of what we spoke today okay so what are the possible mistakes 
wrong hula hoop, wrong first push. Maybe you are going too slow. Maybe you are bouncing on your legs and maybe you didn't check into your body posture, okay? So avoid all these and try to solve all these and I hope it's you, that you will be successful in your ways to la hooping, okay? Don't hesitate also to write to me in private or leave a comment in, you know, some of my profiles. I will be happy to answer all your questions. That's why I'm here for, to help you begin your hula hooping adventure, okay? So, I really hope you liked this video and that it was helpful to you. If so, maybe you want to share it with somebody, maybe you want to leave me a comment or some sign of your presence. Check out all my channels, you know, all the links in the description below and I see you in the next video. Thank you.